development. Instead of saying that's how people work, we go, no, you have this mental illness and that mental illness and obsessive compulsive disorder and, and so on. Now, all those things exist. Those are all good designations, but they're, they're put into a pathological context. You know, we all have capacity for all those crazinesses, and our brains are very, have varying degrees of, of vulnerability to those things. But the bottom line is we're always moving. We're all, in, we're all developing. And what we need to do if we have a problem is we need to grow through it. And everybody has problems, and everybody needs to grow through it. If we have a growth mindset, effort and progress means we can get happier, healthier, more successful. If we have a fixed mindset, and you notice how fixed mindset really fits with dissociation. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at the fact that I have to work hard to get better. I don't want to look that other people are better. I don't want to look that I just did a bad thing. Lots of shame emotion there. If we have a fixed mindset, then we block our development and we stay stuck in those defensive habits. And that turns into people having chronic unhappiness, chronic failure, chronic lack of health. And that's normal development. Now, what does this mean in terms of how we can deal with the world and how we can deal with children? Recognize our children, no matter how great a parent we are, they're going to have neurotic defenses, and sometimes personality defenses by the time they get to be teenagers. And so we just normalize all that, have it be part of our dialogue in our family. And actually, families that talk about feelings have kids that have more easy, e easy time socially. And then recognize as they develop through different cognitive levels of development, they'll have different capacities to self-regulate these defenses and these shame emotions. And then you learn how to self-regulate them according to your emerging capacity. And then that continues and continues and continues. And that's a human life. And we never get to a place where we're not neurotic. We never get to a place where we don't have problems. We never get to a place where we don't have irrational anxieties or fears or resentments. But we get to a place where we have deeper consciousness. Remember, that's where it goes. And more compassion. We'll notice that we're going into those places. We'll have compassion. We can hold the, the inferior pr perspective and not let it hurt anybody in the superior one, connect them. And then we'll naturally self-organize towards greater complexity, which is greater harmony. But to do that, we need to be able to tolerate the shame emotions and to go through our, our natural resistance to look at things. It's, it's really a completely different way of conceptualizing psychotherapy and psychology. And if you look at the research, it fits much better with the research than all the other systems. Because all the other systems are pathology based. They all assume that there was a cosmic plan that said, if you raise a kid right, they're not going to have any defenses by the time they're 13 or 14. Well, they didn't say that when we got self-awareness only 200,000 years ago, that part of what came with the self-awareness is the development of these defense mechanisms. They come from our capacity for metaphor, our capacity to direct our attention and our focus. So I, I would like the couple 